Welcome guys, loads of peace and love from Matt K, born again. Basically today is the 23rd of June 2016. For some people in the calendar year, this day is known as the longest day in terms of the sun and the light. But for others, especially here if you're based in UK or Europe, then today is the referendum whether Britain will leave the EU. This is like the biggest, the, this is like, there's nothing, there's not been anything of any significance for so many years in politics. It's something I don't usually try to like get into, but after just hearing everyone talking about it and close mates on Facebook and everything, I'm like, I'm actually gonna exercise my vote. You know what, it's just around the corner in a school, I'm gonna do it and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm taking the positive view, you know. Britain is like the most unique country in the whole of the world where it has connections in India, China, prehistory. People abroad know London, UK. They know the culture. They look up to it in some way. It's so unique compared to the rest of Europe. Germany ever had any abroad kind of experiences. It didn't really have any colonies. France did. Spain did more, but they never really kept that relationship. Like, I mean, UK, we have like the Commonwealth that's kept really strong. There's this British like sentiment around the world. And you know what, if we leave the EU, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be a negative thing. I mean, for sure we'll be able to negotiate more things more fluidly. I mean, one friend was saying on like Facebook the other day, it was like eight to 10 hours. <laughs> it takes eight to 10 years to get like past referent part to pass like laws and stuff and you know i see uk as like a leader you know a leader in the world an influencer like a hipster kind of thing like you know it's got the ideas it was always the ideas bank in the world like the factories have gone to like asia but still so many ideas create like in that western mentality like usa obviously famously but a lot of music and culture and just I mean, inventions of all kinds have come from the UK, like like uh, the Royal Air Force is a huge innovator in terms of planes. I go on, I can go on, you know? So basically, so basically, I see ourselves taking that position. I saw another quote saying like, basically all the money in the world, like 90% goes through London. Because geographically, I mean, the stock exchange was, like the second stock exchange in the world after like Amsterdam was in London and a lot of finances and systems and businesses around the world and trade flows are all kind of interlinked because of the history through London. So if we're going to go out of, of, of the EU, I mean, either the world's going to have a recession, either the world will have a recession, or people are just going to make new agreements with, with the UK, you know? I mean, it's just, just think about it. I'm not hitting a lot of like topics like some people talking about immigration, but that doesn't, that's, not the bigger, that's, that's not the bigger picture at all, you know? I'm an immigrant, my parents are immigrants, you know, like, and I'm kind of, my, my dad's voting, I'm going to say it, like, to leave, you know, I mean, I'm, so I'm kind of in both, both boats, British and Polish, and maybe it'll be bad for Polish people, but I'm going to have two passports, and you know what, I'm going to vote out, you know, I'm going to vote out, like, because I think there's so many more opportunities and investments and things Britain can do, money's going to always going to come through from the through London. Why are we talking like like second class people? Like we need Europe, we need them. Uh, we need like, you know, they need us as much as we need them, you know? And also we are liked and loved around the world a lot to be able to, you know, to have the better rub of the green, you know? Of course it's gonna be overnight and it's gonna be a bit of like, you know, what's happening in the world? Like, and people are gonna be like, and people are gonna be like, you know, people be worried, you know, and like invest, I mean, like if you look at the like stock exchange stuff, it's going a bit like crazy, you know, it's not sure what's gonna happen, but I mean, to replace people's workforces, companies' workforces, companies' headquarters, it'd be so expensive, it'd be such a delay, it'd be such a drag on like GDP and economy, and why would you, why would you do that? It doesn't make sense to me. I don't like thinking, I mean, so many people come to London, like this, London's, 
is about so much. UK has so much to offer. I, I don't I don't see us just falling out of like the the universe if we vote out of the EU. Of course, I understand the benefits of the EU. The war, you know, there was Second World War because after the First World War, the First World War wasn't dealt with properly, and this kind of bindingness is really good. But also in the world where like China is like over one billion, one point three, India like one point three as well, roughly, you know. It's good to have like some kind of numbers. The EU, it's about 350 million, and like London, it's only 60 million, right? I mean, you think about it. I guess it's good to stick together. But we are always, we are always the top. London, UK, British, British was always they're always like leaders, innovators. And if you have people like dragging you and pulling you behind, I mean, you're gonna lose that essence. And I think we may have lost that essence so much, as in, like, you know, we kind of really. We're no, we're not really Britain anymore. Like we were always, we we didn't have to be scared and like try to like hide in numbers, kind of thing. But this is only just my opinion. You know, I'd love for you guys to comment below. I'm going to go vote now, so I'm just going to do it. I'm voting out, and you know what? The sentiment out there is a, is a lot on immigration and like a bit kind of a bit kind of. I think I thought I thought I've asked a few people here and there, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm voting now. So, welcome. It's 9 p.m. today in Northfields, and I'm about to go and cast my vote. Thanks for watching guys, a like, subscribe, share with your friends and see you next time.